Good morning, friends. I want to spend a couple minutes this morning just encouraging you and uh, maybe being a help to you today by taking some of the scripture. Uh, Book of Mark, we're looking at chapter 1, verses 14 through 20. And there we find, after John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat, preparing their nets. Without delay he called to them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. This morning I want to ask you if your walk with Christ feels stagnant. If your experience as a Christian, maybe you're just ex your experience as a human being has felt very fixed in place. You don't feel like you're enjoying any blessings. You don't feel like you're growing. You don't feel like life is going anywhere. Sometimes we can get very content with the way things are. We read the stories this morning of Jesus calling Simon and Andrew, and then a little bit later, uh, James and John. They're probably very content at where they are. Uh, you'd almost think that they were successful in their businesses. You'd think that that was really all they expected. In fact, it was very radical for Jesus to even come and call them to be something other than what they were. It's not like today where, you know, mom and dad say, you can grow up to be anything that you want to be if you put your mind to it. Then you were what your family was. You did what your, your parents did. You followed in the footsteps of your father and his father and his father before him. And so there wasn't a lot of talk about upward mo mobility, much less having a career change. The apostles probably would have been mystified if you had talked to them, if you were able to talk to them about your career changes, your multiple career changes, your doing something different than your family did, your being in a uh, you know higher economic bracket than maybe you had grown up in. They'd be mystified by those things. So when Jesus calls them away from what they were doing, and especially to follow him, him being a rabbi, him being a teacher, him being they weren't ready yet to say necessarily the son of God, but someone of great influence. And they realized that by following a rabbi, they were just not just stepping out of what they were familiar with. They were stepping outside of what was a societal norm. Rabbis grew up to be rabbis. They were trained from an early age. They came from a certain type of family. So for these men to step outside of all the familiar things... And to take this trust to follow Jesus required something beyond just getting a little bit of extra confidence. It required leaving everything else behind. But this was the call of Jesus. It says that as soon as he starts proclaiming the good news, he says, the time has come. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. The kingdom of God is near, so repent. Now, usually we think of repentance, we just think of changing our attitudes about sin, but repentance requires us to change our attitudes about everything because suddenly the kingdom of God is near. There is a new kingdom coming. There is a new power at work. There is a new king who is very much present and on his way. 
And so it meant that roles changed. If you thought 50 years ago that you were going to grow up to become a website designer, no one would have had any idea what you were talking about. Because the internet was still very basic. Websites design wasn't really a thing. Graphics on websites weren't a thing. The websites were just a conglomeration of text and documents. There was no thought of watching movies. There was no thought of FaceTime. So that kind of job would have been foreign. And that's what comes with Jesus is the pronouncement of a new kingdom, of a new order, of a new way of things. And this is what those early disciples were being called into. Suddenly, all the things that were familiar to them, all of the things that were standard, this Jesus put within their hearts the thought and hope and realization that something new was coming. And so they could step away from those boats. They could leave their nets. That first question I asked you about where maybe it is that you feel like you're just stalling. You haven't really enjoyed being enjoying the blessings of the Christian walk. You've been too caught up in the nets that were already put in your hands. Those boats, those places, those things that you are already familiar with. And yet Christ is continually reminding us each and every day the kingdom of God is near. And it's continually coming nearer. And so the needs and the change, the needs and the ideas and the hopes and the dreams start to change. Have you been changing with them? Have you been living within that reality? Or has it still, does it still say to you a, a place that's far off? Is it just an idea in your head? Or have you, like the disciples, seen Jesus? Have you really heard his voice? And has that aroused a trust in you that makes you able to leave those nets behind? The things that hold us to what was past and don't allow us to walk forward confidently with Christ. He's calling to us even today. Evidence is showing up everywhere. The kingdom of God is near. Repent, continue to change from your old ways and believe the good news. Will you pray with me? And so this morning, as we take these moments together, many of us uh, as a body watching uh, this online all at the same time, something that 20 years ago we probably could have never imagined, maybe even five years ago, but here we are, able to know that others are with us, even at a distance, that we can call, that we can text, that we can post messages and encourage each other and be together. And once again, have this very present reminder that no matter what the day and age, no matter what the technology, God is with us and Christ is calling us and he's calling us into a deeper relationship. May he empower you, may he encourage you May he change your hearts that you might be able to leave the nets behind and follow him wherever it is that he may lead you in announcing, in presenting, in bringing into being this new kingdom and this good news. Amen. God's peace be with you this week. Go with him.